Hi, welcome to Shars Craft Haven. We're going to be doing a quick tutorial on how to make cut lines from PNGs or JPEGs uh, in Inkscape. First, you're going to import your file by going to File, Import, which is Control I. It doesn't matter if it is a um, a JPEG or another file bitmap. Um, SVGs already have their um, their cut lines on it, so you won't need to do anything with those. So we're gonna take this Bitmoji as our example. Um, you can see that it has no line around the edge. It's a it's a normal file. So what we're going to do first is we're going to go up to Path and then Trace Bitmap, which is Shift-Alt-B. -Alt That's going to bring up this window here, which will allow you to, um, to use the Trace function. Um, you can see here there are uh, brightness cutoff, color quantization, brightness steps, Different uh, versions of Inkscape will have different things. We're using a color image, so we're going to click on colors. And then you can estimate the number of scans you want to do. Um, the more you do, the more choices you have to try and get a good one that has the outline. Um, you're not going to be using all of them, so uh, it's not that important. So we're going to just do color, we're going to do eight scans. Some have a live preview button and others don't. Um, the live preview is really helpful when you're doing uh, edge detection or brightness cutoff because that'll give you a sense of what the file is going to be generating. We're going to click OK and then we're going to have multiple images now. The, the stack of images that were created on our original. So we're just going to put our original aside we're going to take our stack and we're going to do we're going to ungroup it which is control u and you can see that it's split off and different we're going to different layers we're going to delete the background and then we're just going to pull these away until see, we see one that has um, most of the outline and the least amount of detail so it looks like it's going to be our bottom layer in this case so we can delete the others. We're then going to zoom in on this and we're going to use the node tool which is right below the cursor arrow and then any of these that are inside we're going to delete so that all it has is a path line around the outside. If you hold down shift and click a color it'll create a stroke or an outline not holding down shift and clicking the X removes the middle and that gives us a sense if there are any things we've missed in there. So I'll back up and I'll leave one in there and you'll see that it'll show up and that will give us a sense that oh we don't want to have a hole cut in the middle and now if we were gonna both laser and engrave we could line these up and now we have a cut line around the outside. For those using uh, the laser box, um, a trick that I have so that they'll import without having issues, have your unit set to millimeter and have your page size be 500 by 300 millimeters which is the bed size and then click view box that will um, scale based on the view, which is the page. Then click Save. We'll save this as test. And then we will go and start up our Laserbox software and import the image to show that it works. So. Here we have that screen. You'll go to the three dots in the upper left, import, 
and then our files name test will open it and then you can see I hadn't deleted the other one of the layers in case we needed it so you can delete that um, and here by clicking on design you can check that your millimeter measurements are correct and then working you can place this on your material hope this was helpful um, ask any questions you have in the comments and we will see you next time thanks for watching